Haleluya. Hello, everybody. Nice to see you again. <laughs> Thank you for your faithful prayer, your love, your concern for us. And you have been faithfully praying for us and interceding for us. We really appreciate that. I, because of God's mercy and grace and because of you, all your love and prayer, wherever we go, God grant us his great favor, his great love. Amen. So we are so thankful to God and so deeply thankful to you all as well. Very, very much. I would like to say thank you for your love and your prayer. Hallelujah. I am so blessed and so honored to be your pastor. Thank God for that. And yesterday we had our 32, 32nd anniversary of our church. It was a great celebration. Many, many people came. And the church gave me this. I said, diamond necktie clip. Yeah, very powerful one. Am I look good? Because you all make me look good. <laughs> Even the belt was given to me from the children ministry yesterday. I just put on this. Proudly I put on this today. And this ring was given to me last year from the church. This ring was given to me year before years last year from the Bible school. Wow. Everything on me is given by the church. How much you love me, I appreciate very much. You make me handsome. Amen. Blessed pastor. <laughs> Thank you so much. May the Lord bless the church and every one of you, hundredfold, even thousandfold. Amen. Blessing. Hallelujah. We actually depart from the city of Tulsa, Oklahoma State, United States. On the 7th of October, uh, August, we depart from there. We went, my wife and I went to Singapore. We have a a grace, grace Leadership Conference with Pastor Joseph Prince, the New Creation, New Creation Church. And we have there for 10 days. We were there for 10 days. Then we flew to London. London, this was our first time visiting there. And London. Once upon the time, London was the city that controlled the whole world. The queen reigned over there. And we went and looked around the city of London. Many historic, historic things to see and to observe, to look. Many, many things. But, you know... I can't walk, so we only go by boat. <laughs> and the other day, <laughs> we went by and looked around by tow bus. One day by bus, one day by boat, then finish. I refuse all the walking thing. <laughs> Many people went and see the Queen's Palace also. But I was not there to walk there. A long queue. So a wonderful thing. We can see a beautiful river is there. Then we were there for 10 days. Many of our old friends are there also. Some of our Bible school graduates are also there. They are leading the worship service, the worship there. And 
siya tuwal gochin and siya ma mavung, they all send their love and their greetings to the church. Then we went to visit Sweden. Sweden taught Suzanne, siya taught siya ma Suzanne and siya Hakan Gibson and his daughter Sana, they all welcome us at the airport. Then the whole day we are touring the city of Stockholm. Stockholm is the capital city of Sweden. Very beautiful. They took us by boat, the whole river. Very, very beautiful. And they also take us to every, many places with their car. And also they gave us a wonderful, beautiful hotel for us near the river and Many, many good, beautiful boats are coming in, in coming in and come, going out. We can see very beautiful country, Sweden, clean and neat and wonderful and good view. Very good, very good. Their water in Sweden is very clean. Even we can drink from the pipe. No need to go for, and buy the water bottle. Even you go to the toilet, the toilet water it is drinkable. Beautiful, that's wonderful. Then we flew to Norway, and in Norway, uh, you know, before that, in Sweden, there's a big, big animal called moose. The moose is called, do you know? A big, a huge animal. And it has a big horn, beautiful horns. And this October, the month of October, is hunting season for the moose. No other time they can hunt. So my host family said, we will shoot the moon, the moose. Next time we you visit again, we will give you moose meat. They said, they promised me. So next year I may have to go again now to eat moose meat. This time also they give moose meat. Very good. Very delicious. I want you to have that one also. I wish I could bring for you. <laughs> it was good. Then we flew to Norway. Norway is the very end of the world over there. And North Pole. Now already they began already Winter already begun there. Become very cool now. And in June, in the from the middle of June to the whole month of July, almost no sunset, no sunset. The whole day sun, and midnight the sun go down into the sea. Just after a few minutes it come up again. So. 24 hours almost sunlight in Norway. Not in part of Nor Norway. Also, again, in Norway, in winter, the whole day there is no sun at all. <laughs> like, like they say, October or November, already 2 p.m., already sunset. No more sun. So all the time, almost 24 hours dark, they said. So it's one, one thing, something. We are very lucky. We have sun here, amen? We have daylight. In the winter, in Norway, like winter is much longer. They have, daylight is very, very short time for them. We have Precious gift of God, daylight. Hallelujah. So, but Norway also, wonderful country. Neat and clean and beautiful country. Their water is very good, tasty. And just we can drink as it is. Very good. So, I want all of you, one day, you go around the world and visit them. Can you say Amen. I bless you in Jesus' name. 
not only spiritual thing. <laughs> to go around the world. Hallelujah. See the beauty of God's mighty hand. Hallelujah. Amen. You will visit Sweden, Norway, London. Wow. Wonderful. Yes, I wish all of you could uh, see and eat their good food. Hallelujah. They have very many good food. That's why I become like that. Hallelujah. My wife tried to control me my eating very much, but she cannot. <laughs> Their food are so delicious. Who can stop you? Like that. When the food is so delicious, who can stop you? Even if I die, I will rather die and eat. <laughs> Very good food. Hallelujah. So good to be back. And so good to see you all. I really thank God for this wonderful opportunity. Wonderful blessing. Shall we turn our Bible to the book of Roman chapter 5. Roman chapter 5. Roman chapter 5, verse 5. I would like to talk about the Holy Spirit today. Roman chapter 5, verse 5. Okay, there's a... And hope does not put us to shame. Because God, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. The Holy Spirit have, has been given to us. The Lord gave us the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, the precious Holy Spirit is a gift from God. Can you say amen for that? It is a gift. We cannot earn the Holy Spirit. We cannot work hard for the Holy Spirit. It is a free gift from the Lord. Hallelujah. It has been given to us. The Holy Spirit, we do not earn. We do not work hard for it. it God freely gave us the Holy Spirit. Amen. What a good God we have. That Holy Spirit. Everybody say Holy Spirit. Say it again, please. Speak louder, please. Holy Spirit means spirit. He is a spirit. He has no body. We cannot see him. We cannot touch him. But he is there. Hallelujah. Even you cannot see him or you cannot touch him. He is nearby you. Hallelujah. He is nearby you all the time. All the time. All the time. The Lord gave us his wonderful Holy Spirit to us. For what? To help us. Everybody say, help us. To help us. He is there to help us. In our weaknesses. In the, show me again the, the scripture again. Romans chapter 5, verse 5 again, please. See? That hope does not put us into shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. So the Holy Spirit poured out what? God's love into our hearts. We cannot feel the love of God by our, our, well, ourselves. But the Holy Spirit come and bring the wonderful, great love of God into our heart. Hallelujah. The responsibility is the Holy Spirit. He brings to your heart what? The love of God. The wonderful, amazing love of God. He brings to it. So sometimes, when you are there, when the Holy Spirit comes, when you pray, or when you sing or worship, the 
Holy Spirit come and what's that? He fill you with the love of God. Then you you will feel like that. Wow, God loves me so much. God loves me so deeply. What? Why He loved me in that way? Even you are so wonder how and why He should love you in such a way that even He gave His Son Jesus Himself even to die on the, on behalf of your sin to take all your punishment, the penalty of your sin and my sin. He took up on the cross everything the Holy Spirit, Spirit make clear to us. Hallelujah. Don't you know, many a time, many people heard about Jesus. Heard about that Jesus died for them. But they don't care. They don't care. Why? Why? The reason is one thing. Holy Spirit does not open their heart yet. Amen? When the Holy Spirit opened our heart, our, in, the, in other words, our inner man, our inner eyes, our spiritual eyes has been opened by the Holy Spirit. Then we can sense the great love of God. Until and unless the Spirit come and help us, we don't feel the love of God. We just normal. But when the Holy Spirit come, He bring the wonderful love of God to us. Hallelujah! Then we are we feel in that time, you know, in in when the Holy Spirit that love of God, we feel we are so loved by God. Hallelujah! We are so loved by God. We are so precious in His hand. We are so precious in His eyes. Hallelujah. We feel so good. Amen. You know? Otherwise, unless and otherwise, many a time, we, but simply we feel dry. Don't you feel dry sometimes? Just by sitting in your office, by being by at home, you just feel dry. Just feeling loneliness. No, even no reason you want to die, people. No reason want to die. What is the meaning of live in this world? You think like that. It's sometimes... You feel that. What is the meaning of life? Why I am in the world? Some many negative thinking. Negative ideas will come. My friends, that is the spirit of our enemy called the devil. The devil wants to kill you. The devil wants to destroy you. The, the devil wants to steal the joy that you have in Christ. Hallelujah. But today, when you are feeling dry, you are full of negative. Everything you are doubtful. No faith at all. Like that, at that time. You want to give up everything, even your business. You want to give up everything. When the precious Holy Spirit will come to you, hallelujah. Even though with, you cannot see with your own eyes, with your physical eyes, you cannot touch him. He will reveal the great love of God. When the Holy Spirit comes, you will feel, you, many a time you heard about the love of Jesus. But when the Holy Spirit comes to you, that Jesus' love become very fresh. Very fresh. In a fresh way. Amen? In a fresh way. Even right now, He's pouring His love to you. That you are receiving that love. Hallelujah. Amen. 
So automatically, when you feel like that, all the negative things can blow away. Amen? Amen? All your drying condition become no more drying. You are full of joy. Full of hope. Therefore, just now the Bible says, what's that? Show me again one more time. Like, okay. And hope does not put us into, uh, put us to shame. Even when you f are full of the love of God, Holy Spirit didn't bring the love of God to you, then you, be, you have full of hope. Blessed hope. Hallelujah. Amen. Even though your future may be full of dark, but you think you will pass it through. You will overcome it. You will break it, that darkness. Hallelujah. That Holy Spirit being hope. That hope was that. That hope does not put us into shame. No more shame. Everybody say, no more shame. No shame. No shame. In the power of the presence of God. When he bring the love of God into your life. No more shame. Many people, we are so shameful every time. So guilty conscious. So self-condemnation spirit. Even you, you accuse yourself. Also you accuse others also. There is the, the spirit of the devil. You don't accept that thinking, that spirit. But you welcome the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes, the shame will go away. The self-condemnation will go away. Amen? The spirit that wants to give up everything will move away and you will have hope. You will have future. You will, you will have courage. You will have strength. You will have faith. You even will have love. Hallelujah. When you feel the love of God, then only you can love God. Hallelujah. Some people try to love God. Let, let me tell you. If you try to love God, you will never try to love God. You will never accomplish that one. But when you feel and when you accept, when you receive the love of God into your life, then only you can love God. Hallelujah. Therefore, receive the love of God first. In order to receive the love of God, that the Holy Spirit has to help you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, when you feel, then, then the Holy Spirit bring that great love of God into your life, into point. You are like in heaven. You are full of love. No more hatred to anybody. You want to forgive everyone. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You don't want to accuse anybody. The only thing you want to do is you just want to bless them. Instead of accusing or cursing anybody. Instead, you want to bless them. You want to pray for them. Hallelujah. You want to help them. You want to become a blessing for them. Hallelujah. So when you are full of love, you know, when the young guy Stephen, he testified the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And he was full of the Holy Spirit, the Bible says, in Acts chapter 7. When Stephen, Acts chapter 7, he testified, full of the Holy Spirit, the people are so mad, so angry with him. Simply, the people bring stone and they try, they threw stones at him. And they stoned him until he, di he, he died. But Stephen was smiling, looking to heaven. When he looked to heaven, he saw that Jesus was 
standing in the right hand of God the Father. Hallelujah. The Bible says Jesus is always sitting in the right hand of God the Father. But now, when Stephen was test, uh, testifying, witnessing about the resurrection of Jesus, people simply stoned at him. Basked him. But Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to heaven. He saw Jesus was standing. Hallelujah. And about, he, about to die, he said to God, God, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Hallelujah. The same prayer that our Savior Jesus prayed on the cross. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. The same kind of prayer you will be able to pray when you are full of the Holy Spirit. When you are full of love. Hallelujah. Amen. We pray. Full of joy. Let me tell you. When you are full of joy, full of the spirit, when you feel the love of God so greatly, that will force you to able to walk for the Lord. Hallelujah. Some people are so stingy. They don't want to give to the Lord. Why? They don't feel that great love. Only they coming to the church religious way only. Only religious people will not give you bountifully. But who really have the love of God? They will become automatically generous. Can you say amen for that? Hallelujah. Many people, they come to the church. They may have many good sermons. But they will go away the same way. But somebody who touched by the Holy Spirit, who is filled with the whole, with the, the love of God, they will go away. They want to do something for the Lord. Amen. Amen. In my life, in my life, what made me to become a minister? I was studying engineering college. I'm going to become a good officer. I'm going to make a lot of money. I. I can see ahead of my life, there's a full of opportunity waiting for me. But that time, I received the love of God. That the love of God persuade me, draw me. Then finally, I did say, should I choose for this worldly thing, this money, or should I choose for my Savior? I love Jesus. Even it may cost my life. It may make me hungry. Nobody feed me. Nobody may give me water to drink. Maybe. Everybody may refuse me. Maybe. Even my relatives may not understand me. Because they expect me to become officer. But I, I, now, since I left my school, they will, I will no more be officer. So they may reject me, but I don't care. I was ready to pay all, all the costs for the sake of Jesus Christ. Why? I was full of love of God into my heart. <coughs> my teacher come and persuade me not to go away from the school. They said so many things. But I make my decision. I will go for Jesus. I, not, I will not go for worldly thing. I will serve my Lord Jesus. Who loved me first. Hallelujah. I don't love him first. He loved me first. I am a sinful man. A lovely one. Only worry to, be, to go to hell only. I am only worried to be cursed by the Lord. But he did not curse me. Instead, he died for me. Hallelujah. He forgave me. He was all my sin with his precious blood. Sinless blood. Why should I follow this holy thing? I will follow Jesus. That was my decision. 
At the time, I, I did, I, 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 I decided like that. Even I serve my King Jesus, just only one day, I serve Him. If I die, I was satisfied. That was my desire. If I serve Him, my King and my Redeemer, my Savior, who loved me so much, if I live for Him, if I die for him just after one day. I will be happy with that decision. I commit my life. But one day passed, I did not die. Two days. Now over 40 years. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I said, if I'm hungry, no problem. I will. I'm ready for that cause. i never hungry. And I, as I said, I Need even special this day, I eat good, good food. Hallelujah. That's why my body become like that. <laughs> Uncontrollable. <laughs> Sorry for that. I will think about that. But anyway, what I want to say is Jesus' love is drawn, drawn, by, drawn to you by the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit come, He will bring the love of God. When He bring the love of God, you will love Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. That will move away all the fear, all the shame, all the guilty conscience. It will give you boldness, courage, confidence. Hallelujah. All the people, all we need is confidence. No more fearful. No more shameful. Confidence in everything we do. God is with me. With me. Whom should I fear? Hallelujah. God loves me. Whom should I fear? Hallelujah. I am the beloved, the beloved son of God. I am a child of the Most High God. Hallelujah. He is my loving Father. That you feel that great love. It is walking by the Holy Spirit. May the Holy Spirit minister to you tonight. Can you say amen for that? Let us send one more scripture, please. Romans chapter 8. Verse 14. Romans chapter 8, verse 14. Okay. Is there already? For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. The Holy Spirit not only bringing the love of God to you, He will lead you. He will guide you. He will teach you. Amen. How to walk your life. All your step is ordered by the Holy Spirit. Amen. When Holy Spirit come, He bring the love of God and also He bring a revelation knowledge to you. Everybody say revelation knowledge. Say it again. Revelation knowledge. Say it again. That revelation knowledge is very, very important. Let me tell you, my friends. If you do not have that revelation, not, revel, revelation knowledge, you will not know the deep things of God. You will not know the truth of God as you should. Even you will not know how to do the things in your life. Now, dear church, 32 years ago, we start. But before we start, five years ago, the year 1982, when I was praying and seeking the Lord, Holy Spirit, just reveal me. Just reveal me. 
in the bush. I was praying in the, my Bible school. In the bush. One day, this nation will know Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. In order that, he said, you must go to the city of Yango. And you start a church there. Amen. I was so excited. But at the same time, I was so fearful. How can I go to Yango? I'm a village boy. I lost my father when before, before I was born. I lost my mom before, uh, no, my mom when I was nine years old. In my very young age, I lost both my parents. I'm from a very poor village. How can I come to that city called Yangon, Rangoon in Devo State? Big city. For me, I am afraid to come to this big city. I am inferiority complex in my heart. I don't know what, how to start you. Even nobody I know there. Even nobody knows me also. also. How can? Then the Holy Spirit, the next step, he revealed me. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit. Hallelujah. Therefore, I, we came down to this city 32 years ago. Not many, no, not many people know us about. We just start with five people. Very poor area, outskirt of the city. Not only that, very violent people. Every Sunday we worship people, stone at us. They shout at us. They mock us. They don't want us in that community at all. But Holy Spirit gave me revelation after revelation. Hallelujah. You know, one Saturday morning, I was so afraid because tomorrow is Sunday. Sunday, people will come to the church. People will start to sing. Then the stone will come again. The mocking people will come again. Even though I am a pastor, I am afraid to face Sunday. The Saturday morning. I pour out my heart to the Lord, pray. You know, that morning, with a broken heart, I pray. Holy Spirit, come. You know, let, let me tell you, when the Holy Spirit come, you may think, He is the comforter. He will not comfort you sometimes. I thought He will comfort you. He said, why you are so fearful, he said. Why you are so fearful? Did I not say to my disciples that I am sending you like a ship among the wolves? You are a ship. Those people stung at you are the, the wolves. That is their right to do. Your, your part is just to suffer. You already know that. Even you commit your life. Even though whatever cost, I am ready, Lord, you say so. Why are you afraid of the stone now? The Holy Spirit, read me. Reveal me that one. Then, then I say, Lord, I'm so sorry. I think that I love you so much, Lord. But actually, I really don't love you yet. You die for me. Your hand was kneeled. Even though you are still alive, they kneel. You are so painful. You, they, crown with, they crown you with thorn. You are so painful, but you still bear for me. They hang you in the midst of many people, but you still bear for me until you die. Now here I am, afraid of a small stone. Lord, 
even though I say I love you, actually I don't love you. Sorry for that. Then Holy Spirit come to me. He fill me with the love of God. Hallelujah. He fill me. You know, let me tell you. From that day onward, from that day onward, I no more afraid of the stone. I no more afraid of the authority to come and put me into prison. I no more. I become very bold, very courageous. Hallelujah. Love blew away the fear. Love blew away shame. Love brings courageous. Amen? Faith. Hallelujah. So let me tell you. Holy Spirit only, not only bringing love of God, He brings guidance, revelation knowledge. Then it's the Holy Spirit revealed me how to do the ministry here in Yango. With that revelation, I start doing. From five people to two, ten people, ten people to twenty people, grow and grow and grow. Now here we are, over 6,000 members. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Step by step. God can give you revelation knowledge. Can you say amen for that? So today, let us welcome the Holy Spirit. He will bring you his great love. When you are full of the great love of God, all your tiredness will blow away. You are tiring in your spirit. You are wearing in your mind. Even you are tired bodily also. Body, soul, and spirit. But when the Holy Spirit comes, bring the love of God into your life. You're full of love and you will re refresh, renew. A new strength will come. You can fly with like an eagle. Hallelujah. You, will can, you can fly like an eagle. A new strength. Of course, there's problems in the world. There's full of problems, full of confusions all everywhere. But you can fly with your Lord Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. You will soar with him above the storm. Hallelujah. Above the storm. With a new strength of an eagle, you will soar with him. So tonight, today, you have a wonderful opportunity, golden opportunity to invite the Holy Spirit tonight. Amen? Invite him. Welcome him. Even though you cannot see him, even though you cannot touch him, he's there to help you. Hallelujah. To give you faith, to give you love, to give, to give you courage, to give you good future, to give you good revelation knowledge. Hallelujah. He will blow away all the fear, all the discouragement, all the dry spirit, you will move away and you will be refreshed, full of joy, full of shalom, peace, full of hope, Amen? Even not that, even that your body sickness can be healed tonight. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit even can bring divine healing. Everybody say divine healing. Say it again. Say it again. The divine healing is for you. For you. Holy Spirit can bring that in his presence, healing. Hallelujah. In his presence, joy. Not simply joy. 
unspeakable joy. Hallelujah. In his present, new revelation, new idea, new thought. Hallelujah. New vision. You know, Jacob, his uncle, his father-in-law, tried to make him very poor person. He served for his father-in-law for many years. But one day, the Lord gave him a revelation. And who he obeyed to that revelation. And he become very rich man. Hallelujah. Within two years, he overtook the business of his uncle. Amen? His father-in-law. He become very rich. Not only spiritual thing, even worldly business, Holy Spirit can give you revelation. New knowledge. New, knowledge, new idea. New system. Hallelujah. My friend, man, you need Holy Spirit. This is your golden opportunity. Welcome him. Invite him. Acknowledge him that he is here right now. Hallelujah. Everywhere you go, in your walk, in your school, in your business, everywhere you go, Holy Spirit is there. He wants to help you. He wants to bring the presence of God to you. He wants to give you a revelation knowledge of the great love of God. Joy, peace, new idea, wisdom, knowledge, everything He can give you. What a wonderful, precious Holy Spirit we have today. Can you say amen for that? The Bible says, God gave His Holy Spirit unlimitedly. Hallelujah. Everybody say unlimitedly. Unlimitedly. God gave you unlimited Holy Spirit. Amen. Whoever welcoming, He is a gentle spirit, you know. He is like a dove, gentle. He will not come you to you by force, but as you open the door for Him, as you welcome Him, as you invite him, he will come to you. Amen? Today, let me tell you, please be hunger for the Holy Spirit. Please be hunger for the Holy Spirit. Welcome him. Love him. Acknowledge him. Think about him. He is your senior partner. You are his junior partner. Hallelujah. Do not think that you are more senior than him. He is the senior. You are the junior. Can you say amen? amen. Some people are trying, want to be more senior than the Holy Spirit. So Holy Spirit, I will go there. You come and, come, come, come and bless me. No, like that. Holy Spirit, lead me. Not we, not we go first. Lead me. Guide me. Give me a revelation knowledge. Hallelujah. Come and bless, come and bless. No, but come, you lead me. You, wherever you lead me, I will go. Hallelujah. Make, put him your leader. Put him your senior partner. You are his follower. Humble spirit will come him. He will bring to you the love of God. Can you say amen? Then, let me tell you, when you are full of the Holy Spirit. You will be full of love, full of wisdom. Outwardly, appearance, you are the same person, but inwardly, you are full of wisdom. Hallelujah. You are full of knowledge. You are full of revelation. Outwardly, you, people may think he's a, the same person, but no, no, no. Inside, you are a different person. You are a dynamic person. You can make it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Would you like to welcome the Holy Spirit in your life today? Are you sure? Why don't you we stand please?